Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the third episode of the Content Modeling Show. I'm Marcelo Lewin, uh, also known as the Headless Creator. And um, basically, in this show, what I do is I model something every single day, Monday through Friday, except the weekends. I need that time for myself and my family. But uh, I do it uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is I love to share information with the community. Uh, two is I love modeling content. Uh, it's just a, a passion for me. And then also it keeps me um, just doing this constantly and, and it keeps me sharp. So that's uh, why I do this. Um, you do have a chat there in front of you. If you have any questions, feel free to, to type them in and um, I will answer them as, as I go through it. So today, what we're going to do, and let me switch screens here. Here we go. What we're going to do today is we're actually going to model a landing page. So I decided to pick this website, which is random. It doesn't matter why, but I like the fact how it's set up. Um, and this one, as you can see, it's the uh, photo bucket uh, landing page. Again, I just picked it randomly. Uh, I'm not getting paid for them or anything. It's just uh, I, I like their design and, and what they're doing. But looking at this uh, website, um, one would think that um, it's going to be pretty complicated because you can see you've got a big image with a whole bunch of text, some buttons here. Then you have a whole bunch of icons here with some more images or some, some more text. Um, you have, um, again, more, more text here with a button, um, another image, another button. And um, it, it, as we scroll down, it's pretty much um, a whole bunch of whatever we call this. Uh, I don't want to say the word yet because we are going to actually call this something. Uh, and we're going to get that in just a minute. Um, this one also looks really, really complicated. But you'll see that after we're done analyzing the page, it's really not that complicated. Um, what we're not going to model today, though, is the bottom header, which is a navigation and the top header, which is also navigation. If you want to see how a navigation is modeled, episode two shows you exactly how to do that. So we're not going to spend time modeling the, the top header and the bottom header, just the content in between. Uh, by watching all these videos, you can put everything together into one cohesive content model for your website. So, so why don't we start, which is the way I always start uh, with any client or anybody that I work with, is why don't we start by just analyzing the page here and and seeing as you can see this page um even though it seems like we have a whole bunch of stuff going on here it looks pretty clear that we have like this this here this area is one section this is another section this is another section that's another section yet another one and one more another section Yep, so this is all one section. So it looks like we have maybe five sections here. So it's not just one long page, but really this page is made up of five sections. So these sections, what I like to call them is I like to call them content containers, really, because they contain content. So this is one content container. This is another content container. This is yet another one. Okay, so let's jump into my favorite app. Let's jump into the favorite app that I enjoy, which is Miro. And now I forgot to turn on Do Not Disturb. OK, here we go. We'll jump into Miro here. And this is what I use constantly for modeling content. OK, so on the left is my defaults or my template that uh, you can create a content type or a component. If you want to know the difference between a content type and a component, again, uh, watch episode one. That's I go into that as well. So I'm not going to go into that here. But we mentioned already. Um, that we have, I also explain in episode one what all of this means on the left here, so I prefer not to spend time doing that. So we're going to go ahead and create a component, and we're going to call it content container. Okay. And as you know, by if you've watched my previous episodes, I like to put everything with an internal name and an external name. The internal name is what the author is going to be searching by. The external name is whatever. If you want to display that name, it would be that would be the name of, that you would display. 